on an ancient rock on the road to Calvary. It's Good Friday, the day Christ dreams his passions through. There he goes, carrying his cross. That exists because he dreams it. Even the crowd are mocking him. Call on your father now, before the birds took your bones. Not so powerful now. Me and the miracles. I tell him that his son is cast away. Let me through. I am Lazarus. He raised me up. I am the man that died and was raised up. <laughs> Who? It's me, Lazarus. Lazarus. You were dead for four days and were raised up. You will not mock me. For four whole days and nights, I was dead and was lying still in a comfortable mountain cavern. When you came climbing up there with a huge crowd, and dragged me to the light. I just called your name, Lazarus. And you came out. You took away my death. Give it back! I gave you life. For death is what I want! Alive, I could never escape you and your love. Love this, love that, that's all I ever had. When I hastened to my death, I was happy to be rid of this world. I thought I'd go to a wilderness, be happy as a ghost, a mere solitary thing. Then I died, I died and saw no more until I saw you, standing at the opening of the tomb. Lazarus, come out, you cried, and you dragged me to the light like boys drag out a rabbit from its hole. Now, with all the shouting at your heels, you travel towards the death I am denied. That is why I hurry to this road and claim your death. I want your death. I conquer death, and all the dead shall arrive. Then what I heard is true. I thought I'd die when my allotted years ran out. And being gone, no one could hinder it. No. Don't give me that look. Now you say, you will blind with light that solitude. You will even disturb that corner where I thought I, I might lie safe forever. I do my father's will. And not your own. Go on, blame your father. It wasn't your father, it was you. I was free for four days. Four days being dead. Now what am I? Look at me! Oh, turn your eyes from Lazarus! That can't even find a tomb! Turn your eyes from Lazarus! They were all 
strung out Hoping to be cured They were living on The crossroads too But all I wanted was you But all I wanted was you Judas, remember me? I sold you for 30 pieces of silver. Judas, you were with me every day. You saw the dead raised up and the blind given sight. Everything that I said and did, you have known. Yet you do not believe that I am he, that I am the one. I never doubted it. I knew it the first time I set eyes on you. No need for miracles to prove it. And yet you betrayed me. I betrayed you because you seem so powerful. My father, even now if I were but to whisper it, would break the world in his miraculous fury to set me. So, there's nobody, huh? There's not one man in the entire wide world who is not in your power, is that right? My father put all men into my hands. Now, that was the very thought that drove me wild. I couldn't bear to think that you had but to whistle, and I must do. And then I thought, no. Whatever man betrays him will be free. And, you know, life was bearable after that. Crucify him! So now there's nothing I don't know, knowing that if a man betrays a god, he is the stronger of the two. But if it were the commandment of that god, then that god was still the stronger. Oh, no. You're not going to fool me with your words. When I first planned it, there was nothing near me but a bird, a heron. It was so full of itself, it seemed terrified. But my betrayal was decreed when the foundations of the world were laid. I thought of that. It was decreed that you should be betrayed, but it was not decreed that it should be I, the man, Judas. Born at such a time, born in such a village, of such and such parents. Nor did I go hidden in an old coat to the high priest, laughing to myself, as people do when they're on their own. And all for 30 pieces of silver. No more, no less. Not with a nod or a sent note, but with a kiss on your cheek. I did it. I, Judas the man, no other man, and not even you can save me. Be gone from me, Judas. He's not going anywhere. He's going to help us to put up the cross.
And keep the rest away. They're too persistent. They're always wanting something. Die in peace. There's no one here but us. And who are you that ask for nothing? We're the gamblers. And when you're dead, we'll settle on who's to have that robe of yours by throwing the dice. Our dice were carved out of an old sheep's thigh at Ephesus. Only one of us can win the robe. But that'll not make us quarrel. What does it matter? Whatever happens is for the best, we say. That way, we're not disappointed. <laughs> if you'd searched the whole wide world, you couldn't have found more comfortable companions for a deathbed than us three gamblers that ask for nothing. They say that you're good and that you made the world. Does it matter? Come on, let's do a dance. We'll do the dance of the dice throwers. He can't have much longer, and I'm sure he's never seen it. If he were the god of dice, he'd have seen it. And he's not that god, is he? He's not that good, is he? <laughs> <laughs> it must be a great comfort for you up there, knowing that you have nothing that we want. <laughs> In the dance, they call it for a day. We set it by throwing dice. And after that, they play. Join hands and wheel it out the club. God. 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 If you ever see Jesus again, won't you tell him that I was your friend? Won't you tell him I'm well On my way down to hell But I'm still trying To make amends If you ever see Jesus again 